say xt in ZT are tangent to a circle so this is xt this t here and we have uh zt they are both they are tangent to a circle w x y z w x y z this is a circle draw with a uh, drew as follows o is the center of the circle in angle o z x o z x is 25 degree calculate given given brief reason the value of angle o x z angle x o z angle x w z angle x y z angle x t z so the first thing we are going to find angle o x z O X Z and into this point to this point and what I want to observe here is this is the center O is the center of the circle here and we have this line the, the line from the center to any part of the circle is the radius and also from here here is the radius and here, here is a ruler so they are equal in terms of our dimension they are equal so what we need to do here we try to okay so that you can see it okay they are equal so since we have 25 degree here it means that angle o x z will also be equal to so to satisfy this we can say angle a says angle O X Z is equal to 25 degree because they are associated triangles. They are associated triangles. They are associated triangles. So we have 25 degree. We automatically this portion will be 25 degree because they are they are associated triangle here. Okay, associated triangle. So the two angles are equal here. So, we finish finding angle OXZ. The next one is angle XOZ. We have XOZ, meaning this position here. So, to find this, this is a triangle here. We have a triangle here. So, we'll add this 25 and this 25. Because the only and we we'll sum it to 180 degrees. So, to do that, we say we say uh angle angle x o so this is b here angle x o z will be equal to 180 degree minus 25 plus 25 give us 50 degree so it will automatically we'll have here 130 degree 130 degree will be here for x angle x o z so here we have 130 degree here for angle x o z so you see me there this is 130 degree so we are through with this this the next one is x angle x to by z x to by z so to get this particular angle this inscribed angle here we can now say uh the central angle half of the central angle is equal to the inscribed angle here so we now have here to say angle w so we have here c angle w is equal to half of angle z o x so we now have here 1 over 2 times 130 degree so automatically we have our answer to be 2 into 13 6 times in the 1 in the 1 to the 0 become about 10 2 going to 10 5 times so we have 65 degree for 
si vous êtes là, 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 vous êtes on go x, y, z. So to find on go x, y, z, what we do here is we already know that we already know that uh, the distance from x, y, z here is the is the manner act where we have uh, and we have z, the way you x is the major act. So and we have one and three degree. This angle is also equal to the arc that is opposite it. So, if you want to get, if you want to get this major arc here, we can now say, we can now say here, uh, 360 degree minus 130 degree. So we we'll have a zero. We we'll have a Three, we we'll have a two. So it means we we'll have two hundred and thirty degree here as our major arc. So to have to get a major arc, what we we'll do here is we have to uh, divide this by two. Or another thing that we can do is this. Another thing we can do here is this. Or we have a quadrilateral here. We have a quadrilateral, so the two opposite angles here are supplementary. So we can say here to find D, D we can say angle Y will be equal to 180 degree minus 65 degree. We will have 115 degree, meaning 115 degree. So 150 degree will be the value for this angle here. One one five degree here. So that's the value for angle Y. The next one is we should find angle X T Z. So to find angle X T Z X X T Z. This is the angle here that we want to find. So we have angle. This angle here, we don't know the value now, but we already know this value here, and we say it's 130 degree, and we say uh, the distance from this z, the value x, which we consider as the major arc, is 230 degree here. It's 230 degree. So to get that value, to get that value, as you can see up here. To get that value, which is E, so we can say angle T is equal to the measure half, the measure of parenthesis open, the major arc, the major arc, which is X over U Z minus the minor arc, which is X. Y Z. So in our case, we we'll have one over two. And this will open. We have two hundred and thirty as the major arc minus the minor arc, which is one hundred and thirty degree here. So we say parenthesis closes. Do you see it? Parenthesis closes. So we can now have here. Let me try to draw a line here. Then I have here one over two, two thirty minus one thirty. We have here um, zero, zero, one. So we have one hundred degree. Now one hundred degree divided by two. So it means that therefore angle T, which is angle S T Z will be equal to 50 degree. So this is it. So it means that 
uh, we have our our a value to be 25 degree we have our value for b to be 130 degree we have the value of c to be 65 degree we have a value for d to be 150 degree and we have a value of e to be 50 degree so i want to say thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you can share the video drop your comment in the comment section for in the, for your recommendation i love you all i want to say thank you keep supporting me i love you again